Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would introduce you to the world of tanning. I mean tanning's been around for ages using fake tan products. But over the last, let's say about two months, I have been reviewing different tans. And I've picked six. Some of them I've used before, some of them are completely new products to me. What I'm going to be reviewing in this video is the price, the smell, how it applies, can you see it being applied, and how long does it last. So that is basically what I'm going to be going through with each of the tans that I've picked. There is a price range in the tans, so from cheaper tans up to more expensive ones. So there's a tan in there for everyone. So I'm just going to get started. I'm very pale skinned and each of the tans that I have chosen are the dark to test them out to see the colours and each application I did twice. So I would have put the tan on let it develop for a day. Every day I showered and scrubbed as I would normally scrub in the shower and then I worked out how long the tan lasted basically. So the first tan, which is also the cheapest tan, is the Dove Derma Spa. This is a cream style moisturising tan, basically a developing one so you can't see it going on. I'll insert clips of me applying it as well as before and after pictures so you can see the difference of two applications. So this is the dark to the medium to dark skin one. It smells like Dove product would whenever you're putting it on. However it does develop a, a typical sort of fake tan kind of smell. Adam didn't like it but he, he liked the colour that it gave but he didn't like the smell of it. He said that it did have a sort of typical tan smell. I can get where he's coming from where it does have a sort of tanny smell but it's not as bad as what the product used to be years ago. So this is around seven pounds. Most of the time it is on offer down to about 3 99 which is great for this product. It lasts a long time and it's lovely and moisturising on your skin because it's a Dove product. So I really really like this. I have my little notes here as to like how long everything applies for. So with the Dove product, after two applications and showering every day, it lasted about four days on my skin which I think is great. Like I would normally have reapplied sort of midweek on maybe day three I would have put some more on but I wanted to see exactly how long the tans were going to last. So about four days worth of this tan. Next up we have the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs in, this, oh this is the medium glow, sorry I thought I bought dark glow in this. There wasn't really much of a difference I could see. I used to always wear the dark one of this. This was one of my staple products. It blends quite nicely as well. Again I did two applications of this just to keep everything consistent. The only issue with this is because instant, as soon as you shower, it is water resistant so if you were just to get water on it, it's fine, that's not an issue but it's whenever you shower and start sort of putting like shower gel and stuff on it, that's whenever it rinses away. But this is perfect for a quick night out if you need a tan quickly. This is more than perfect because it's instant. So this is around 10 pounds, nine or 10 pounds, which again, isn't that bad of, for an instant tan. For the wear, the price, the smell, there's no smell, although it is quite aerosol whenever you're applying it so do it in a well ventilated room. So this would be my go-to tan if I needed something like instantly. One of the first products that was new to me in this experiment was the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold Self Tanning Dry Oil. I'd heard a lot of people talking about this and raving about this so it was natural that I also wanted to try it. It is like a liquid spray and you can kind of see where it's going on which is good and um, it smells of coconut which is fantastic so husbands will like it or boyfriends or partners whoever will like this it lasts around i got four days also out of this this is around 14 pounds sometimes it's an offer as well so 14 pounds isn't too bad it smells really really nice and the color has sort of been my new found love of fake tan so i have used a good bit of it and I absolutely love it. It just applies really, really nicely. Even though it's sort of like a spray liquid style, it does apply really, really nicely and it gives you a gorgeous, gorgeous color, not, not too orange, a nice bronzed color, which is what you want. I absolutely love this. I've been basically telling everybody about this. This is probably one of my favorite tans from the range that I have here. Next is the Saint Tropez Bronzing Spray. This was also one that I've had a long time, I've been using this for a long time, so it was only natural that I would review it in this as well. This one 
you have to be careful with Santa Pray. Some of them you can see going on, some of them you can't. The one with the blue lid, you can. The one with the clear lid, you can't. Have that in mind whenever you're buying Santa Pray. So this is the spray. I've also tried the mousse, but there's no point showing you both for exactly the same product. So again, yes, you can see this being applied. It is a bit aerosol -y whenever you're applying it. So again, do it in a well-ventilated room. It doesn't have a smell in the sense that it didn't smell like fake tan. Adam could smell a little bit from it, but nothing nothing too much. He didn't complain too much about it. I got, again, four days out of this. Most of the tans that I've done, I've got four days out of, and that was me charring as I would normally. Maybe giving it a little bit of an extra scrub just to see how how well the tan would last. Um, I really, really like this product. It gives a gorgeous color. It nicely because you can see it. I love the tan that you can see being applied. So this is around, I think it's around 16 pounds. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've, I've bought this. It is sort of in the, the high teens to 20 sort of mark for this one, which again, isn't too bad for a tan. But the next tan that I want to talk about is the Skinny Tan 7 Day Bronzer. This is around 20 pounds and I was so excited to try this. So many people have been talking about skinny tan. So again, you know, it's only natural that you want to try something that everybody's talking about. This is an instant bronzer, but it lasts for seven days. So instead of it being a typical instant tanning product bronzer that washes off instantly, this one doesn't. So this one sort of develops over time but it is an instant bronzer. So the first time you do this, you apply it, you don't overwork it, which is very, very important. I learned that the hard way. I, you know, I rub and rub and rub my tan in. This one, you can't do that, or it just sort of rubs away, if that makes sense. So you apply this, you leave it overnight, or a minimum of five hours before showering it off. First time you shower this off, you can't use like products you just have to sort of shower with water until sort of the top layer comes away and then the actual tan is left on underneath. It does say it lasts for seven days. I got between four to five days. So four days was fine but five days mm, I wouldn't have been so comfortable going out if I was wearing a skirt or shorts. It still wasn't. You could tell that the tan was fading if that makes sense so it was a little bit patchy by them. This smells of coconut. It smells even more like coconut or stronger scented coconut than the Bondi Sands one. So if you really don't like coconut, you definitely won't like this product. It applies like a gel. So I'll, again, I'll insert videos of me applying it and before and after pictures of the product. This again was two applications and then I let, I showered every day until it faded. I didn't like the smell of this, again, because it was coconut, it didn't have a fake tan scent at all. So that's the one good thing about this. It didn't have a tanning scent to it at all. You really would really like it. I really liked it, it smells coconut. I don't know if from this product I will be tempted to buy other skinny tan products. Maybe if they were an offer I might, but for £20 I probably wouldn't buy this again. I don't think it's worth the hype that I had imagined it to be. I wasn't as impressed with it as I thought I would have been. I probably won't buy this again. Finally the last tan that I want to talk about is the Heishi Dark Foaming Mousse. Again, I'd never, I've never used T-Sheet products. Then of one in the range that I have, so I think this was around 23 pounds, something like that. I think so, it was definitely over 20. I was so impressed with this tan. It has quite a nice smell applying, it's a foam. You can see it going on, which again, I absolutely love. It doesn't smell like a fake tan from what I remember. Adam didn't complain about it, which is always great. <laughs> it gave a really, really nice tan. It says self tan bronzer will last seven to 10 days. I got, five days out of this. So this was the longest lasting one that I had. I didn't get as much as it said it would on the bottle, but I thought five days wasn't bad. This, this is probably one of my favorite ones. Between this one and the Bondi Sands, these are ones that I'm gonna repurchase. I know this one is slightly on the pricier side, but I think it's worth it. And the Bondi Sands are, they tick all the boxes for me. Between color, last, price, the smell, how it applies, Again, like they just tick all the boxes that I wanted them to tick. But fair enough, there is about a 10 pounds price difference between them. So if you find a tanning product that you like, I don't think that's a big deal. This one and the Bondi Sands are my absolute favorite tans. So that is the six tans that I have put through the wars for the last two months, applying, showering, scrubbing, reviewing, to bring you this video. I really hope you like it. I've enjoyed doing it. It's something I actually really enjoy doing. <laughs> 
supplying tan and wearing tan. But let me know in the comment section below if you have any other tans that you'd like to see me try or any other recommendations. I'm always up for a good good recommendation. So please do leave the comments below and let me know. If you have any of them, what, like let me know what you think of them as well. If your opinions are the same as mine or you completely hate ones I absolutely love, I'd love to know. So make sure and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the big thumbs up button and I'll see you next time. Bye!